Uh, CNN is now learning new details about the U.S. response to the growing monkeypox outbreak. Sources tell CNN the White House is working on naming a monkeypox coordinator for the federal government's response to the virus. This after the World Health Organization declared it a global health emergency over the weekend. Let's discuss with Dr. Margaret Harris, the spokesperson for the World Health Organization. Dr. Harris, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, the WHO has declared monkeypox a public health emergency around the world, but the Biden administration has not yet taken that step. Should it take that step? Good evening, and thank you ha for having me with you. Uh, we declared a public health emergency of international concern. And when we do that, we do it because we see an event that's extraordinary, unusual, where we see international spread and where we want the world to come together in a coordinated way to help stop this event, to deal with the event. Now, how countries respond at, at, at individually is their decision. Uh, the United States of America is a country with a human-to-human um, -human transmission, and in our recommendations, we are certainly saying have a coordinated response and raise awareness in your community. But how it's dealt with by your government is a decision for your government. The White House is expected, Dr. Harris, to name a monkeypox coordinator. Is that strong enough? Is that a strong enough step in your view? Certainly, that's exactly what we're asking for, a coordinated response. That's one of our top recommendations are made on Saturday when the Director General um, decided to raise our highest alert by calling it a public health emergency of international concern. The other things we're really asking is that, that we work in every country with affected communities and, and take leadership from them, help get them to help us to communicate what the issues are um, and to find ways to stop the transmission. The former U.S. Uh, FDA Commissioner, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, tweeted this, and uh, let me put it up on the screen. If we have allowed monkeypox to become an endemic virus in the U.S., which is becoming an increasingly possible outcome, it will be among the most unfortunate public health failures in recent times. Uh, are we seeing a historic public health failure unfold, Dr. Harris? We're seeing a very unusual event. We've known monkeypox since the 1970s. We first saw it in 1958 in monkeys itself, even though it's actually other animals that are more likely to transmit it. But we haven't seen this level of transmission around the world. We now have 70 countries. So let's not point to one country or another country. What we need to do is work together internationally. Yeah, 16,836 cases globally so far confirmed. The CDC says there have been challenges getting data about this virus. What's the best way to fix that problem? So getting data, um, it, that's a range of things, but certainly having people come forward, having people tested, having people come forward for treatment and um, and to understand what they need to do to protect themselves and others will require a reduction in the kind of stigma we're seeing, that people are very much focusing on one group. Now, this affects all of us. And the reason we pay attention to monkeypox is that the, the, the most vulnerable groups are actually children and uh, pregnant women um, and the immunosuppressed. And any one of us can get monkeypox because it is simply spread by close contact, skin to skin, face to face uh, with somebody who's infected. So what's critical is somebody who does know that they're infected, is that they seek help and that they also uh, self-isolate and protect others while they're infectious. Good advice indeed. Uh, Dr. Margaret Harris from the World Health Organization, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be with you.